welcome to another video. Today is a really quick and special video. Um, we're going to do my predictions on who won the Champions League, who won the Europa League, the whole table of the Premier League, uh, and a few teams. I will be voting, I will be voting all of them. Like just one team, I will be voting a few teams. And also the World Cup 2018, which I've got a few um, ideas. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below after the video or before the video and yeah subscribe and enjoy the video so in 20th place i'm going with whole city for some reason they won the playoffs so i think they will um yeah they'll have a bit of a season not as good next one we have bournemouth uh did we were well last year I'm really happy for Bournemouth, but this year I don't think we'll do as well, they'll do as well. The next one is Burnley, I don't think they're going to finish that low, but just a tiny bit low, because I mean they're a good team, because they won the championship. The next one is West Bournemouth Chalvian, for some reason I don't think they'll do that well. Yes, they have Robson Carney and everyone else, but I don't think they'll do that well. The next at 16th place is Watford, I think they have made some good sign-ins, but too many. And then the next one is Sunderland. I think you know something why, because they are a, they're a good team. I don't think they get relegated. 15th place, I think, I just think that suits me. So in 14th place, Middlesbrough, uh, I couldn't put them any higher than that. So, I've got to go Middlesbrough there, they've made some good signings, I think, yeah. The next one is Swansea City at 13th place, they've made some good signings. I uh, can't remember exactly who, um, and then Stoke have uh, done really well in the transfer window. Loaning Wilfred Boney, uh, so that's good for them. Next, yeah, Southampton, they've sold Mane, they've sold... Um, they may sell Fonte, they've sold uh, Mane and Pele. And then we have Crystal Palace, who were disappointed last year, but I think they'll do better this year. Even though they sold Balassi, they've won Remy and Benteke, so I think that's when they finish them. So, in ninth place, I am going with Everton because they've won Balassi, they've won Williams. And they still have a really good squad and keeping Lukaku. So, ninth for them. In 8th place, as you can see, we have West Ham. Who are, I think they've done well this year. They've brought in a few good players. They still have Payet. And, yeah, the next one is Leicester. At 7th place, I think they will probably finish around 7th. The current champions. Uh, yeah, and then Tottenham. And Liverpool. I just say Tottenham... 6th Liverpool 5th because that's my prediction um can't really say much other than those two so yeah now in 4th place we have Arsenal I think these are normally they're normally the top 4 uh, in the past few years but yeah Arsenal the signings Mustafi, Xhaka, Perez I think they'll do about yeah fourth place for me the next one is Chelsea um, obviously buying a uh, double Louise who I think mm, isn't a good it's a good signing Marcus Alonso um, and then we have Manchester City in second place so that means I think Manchester United will win the league with Ibra with Mkhitaryan with Pogba with Rooney with Bali with De Gea I mean no one can stop them but it's unpredictable the Premier League so I'm gonna say man you win. win the league. So now I've got to answer the World Cup. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be two France, Spain, Germany and Brazil. The reason why I've so quickly answered that is because I think I think about this, even though it's in 2018, nearly two years away, I still think it will be one of those four teams and if I'm right then yeah. I kind of go right, and then the same thing with the Champions League. I'm gonna say who it was in 1415: Bayern, Real Madrid, Juventus, and Barcelona. I don't think they'll all get to the same, but I probably think they will. 